immense pleasure and I take great privilege in welcoming our esteemed Chief Guest of Honor, Dr. Kiran Bedi, Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry, to deliver the graduation day address. You were like an ATM cube. I thought the queue will never end. But the ATM moved very fast. And there was something for the, from the ATM for everybody. It was a good ATM today, wasn't it? You all got a degree. Well, credit goes to your college. The ATM had certificates in it. It had, had enough cash in it, which is in the form of certificates. Let me congratulate the Chairman Managing Director of the SMBE Trust, Mr. Dhanashekran. What a fantastic institute you have. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. It's very impressive for Pondicherry. Very, very impressive. Mr. Sugumaran, who's the MLA of your area, of this nearby area, Dr. Narayan Swami, Dr. Malikran, the um, principal and all other members of the senior faculty, parents, staff members and degree holders today. Congratulations once again for a very impressive ceremony where 80 percent of degree holders are women. Very happy to see. Well, women from the south have always led in education, undoubtedly. But the graduation ceremony today establishes it. I do hope the women all through their career continue to work. Marriage or no marriage, they continue to work. That is the key. The benefit of such a higher good quality education is you continue to earn for your living, continue to contribute towards society. So friends, uh, you have a fantastic life ahead. You are also in very, very interesting times today. The times of India are changing. It's not the way it was during my time or our time. Your times are much more challenging, much more enterprising, much more demanding, much more competitive, much more um, also rewarding. Times of today will only reward that person who deserves it today, not the undeserving. It's a competitive world. So I think, understand that with this skill, you have to continue to deserve it, continue to earn it. And also be very, very up to date in what is happening in India today and the world. How fast the world is changing. Every day there are five new policies coming from government of India. Things are changing. So how do you stay abreast of the changing world will be the test between a winner and a loser. Degree, you're, going to, you're passing your degree, so far it's been sheltered. You've been fed. You've been fed a lot of information. You've educated yourself. You've qualified. You've learned a professional skill. The test is your personal skills, for which you've not been, you've not passed a degree. You passed a degree today, this ceremony has given you a professional degree, an engineering degree, or a skilled degree which will bring a career to you. But the person in you is going to be different. And the person in you has not been given any qualification. The person in you is hidden within you. How hardworking you are, how sincere you are, what kind of personal qualities you have, your chairman mentioned, your, your respect for your parents. How many of you feel that as you grow up, you, you are responsible for your parents? Parents are doing it for you today. You have to, to, you're paying the bank, but you've got to take care of your parents too. So these are our personal qualities, which are not tested yet. And every day of your life will test you. Every day of your life. 
It's not that, oh, now I'm old enough, senior enough. Every day of life is a test. That is why every day is a new day. Every day is 24 hours. It's a new day. It's a new date. And every day has four times, four different sections of the day. You have the morning, you have the pre-noon or the noon time, you have the evening and you have a night. And all four sections of the day demand different things. Can you do what you do in the morning at night? Night you go to sleep. But if you sleep during the day, you're an upside down person. So even the day has four sections. Isn't it? So you are tested four times. And even in the morning, when you are, it's a, it's a pre-morning and it's an office morning. What you do before office and what you do during office is very different. So it's, a, it's an understanding of how are you going to do, lead your personal life in that skill. That is the test you have yet to pass. But you can never pass it all in one shot. You pass it every day. Every day. And every day has four sections of the day. You cannot confuse an evening with an office hour. Evening has its own needs. So all I would say, looking at the youth in you is, if I would give you my life's experiences this, understand that every day is a new day. Even when you're my age, and you're seen enough in very great positions, you are CEO of your own company, yet you cannot have a holiday in personal traits. You cannot have a holiday in character. Character knows no holiday. And whoever had a holiday went to the hard jail, went to a prison. Because they said, they can't say, oh, I made a mistake only once. I killed somebody only once. So be it. I only killed once. You only have to kill once to spend the rest of your time in jail. Isn't it? Isn't it? You only have to commit one crime and you will go to jail. But you say, oh, 99 times I was very good. But I committed crime only once. So ma'am, only one out of 99, I should be pardoned. Life does not pardon you. There are certain things life does not pardon you. Life punishes you. You cannot have a holiday in good deeds. So one evil, one crime, one big blunder, one big mistake, everything goes. So does it mean, oh, I have to be a policewoman all my day, every time I must watch myself? No. You can just, you have just to be a habit. Habit of right thinking, right living, right working, right doing, right talking, right eating, right dressing, right timetable, right attitude, right habits. That's what Buddha said. Right livelihood, right conduct, right behavior. There's no holiday in this righteousness. Understand that as a youth. If I have to give you one message, is live your life one day at a time. And in that one day, four days of the day, four sections of, of the day, sleep well, eat well, exercise well, read well, work well, behave well. Everything has to be well. And in this wellness, there's no teacher outside. There's no professor. It's you. It's only you. Every day, the teacher is in you. You are your own teacher. The teacher days are gone. After this degree, you are your own master. You are your own teacher. You have to guide yourself every day. You have to get up early every day, exercise every day, eat well right every day, go to work well every day, give your work the best every day, ensure your responsibilities are fulfilled every day. Every day, but this is not a pressure. It's a habit. It's a character for which you have no degree yet. And in this, there is no closed degree. This degree goes on till the last day of your life. Can you say, oh, I'm now 75, 80, I'm a veteran. I can do all the wrong things. No, you cannot still. Life does not give you a chance. Life only gives you a day to do it the right way. So this means takes you to a concept of being self-driven. Taking your own responsibility. 
For this, there can be courses. There can be ethics courses, moral science courses, value, personal value courses. But finally, in the end, you have to live yourself. You understand that? Girls or boys? Girls have their own special needs. Women have their own special needs. Men have their own special needs. But sometimes the needs are common. And sometimes the needs are special. You have to recognize your gender roles as well. Women may have special additional responsibilities. Men may have their own unique responsibilities. It's the coming together in the right way. The society will be a healthy society. You have to get up early every day. Every day is a good habit. Form your habit patterns. What must I do every day? After that, you will naturally do it. It will not be somebody forcing. So the word is being self-driven. Self-responsibility. Self-person. You have to be good. It's like thinking every day, behaving every day, even in public life every day. You cannot have holidays means you cannot make blunders, you cannot make mistakes. Because then what happens is that you regret it later. Oh, I made a mistake. I took a bad decision. You suffer the consequences. Why is there so much of agony and suffering in this world? Why is there bad health? Some people drink away. They drink away. They got money, they drink away. They smoke away. And then what happens? Family suffers. Family goes into debt, they go into debt, they go into hospital, the people of taxpayers' money spent on the, on the patient because there's a liver transplant, there is a cirrhosis, and then maybe the person passes away. Who suffers? Children suffer, family suffers, old parents suffer for that one mistake. That mistake which continues to be made by that person without realizing that he has responsibility. Responsible behavior is your own decision. So sense of responsibility even as a citizen. Look in India, what's happening today? What's happened? Why had we to be demonetized? Why had we now to become more, more digital economy? Why? Because we were mostly irresponsible in paying our taxes. Everybody was trying to hide whatever I can say, hide it. We were irresponsible in our responsibility towards our nation. We never used to, we used to hide more than declare more. By which, what has happened? I, as a governor of Puducherry, if you ask me, every day we have to find the money to build houses for the poor. We have to find the money, we sometimes are borrowing money to diesel our tanks. We have to borrow money sometimes to provide medicines in a hospital. Why? Because we are short of, we have to borrow money to build a road. Why? Because the nation doesn't have enough money. Only 1% of the country pays, people pay taxes. 1%. What happened to the 99? At least 50% or 40% could have paid taxes. But they didn't. They kept the cash with them. They kept buying gold and kept it with them. It was national wealth wasted, locked up not coming back into circulation for infrastructure and productivity. So what did we do? We were irresponsible citizens. And this nobody teaches you. You're trained to become a manager, you're trained to become a professor, a teacher, or an or a, or a engineer, but you're never trained to be a good citizen. And who is a good citizen? Who recognizes their social responsibilities. And had we had been Friends, if we were, had been responsible citizens for the last since independence, India would have been the richest country in the world today. It had a demographic dividend. 1.3 billion, of which more than 500 million are youth. Energy. They can wealth create. They can work hard. Yet what happened? There is not enough money to build more ports, more railways, more pu public transport, more government hospitals. You have a private hospital, but government hospitals with the highest quality, it costs a lot of money. You understand that? You're all engineers, yes, but are you inner engineers? Are you inner engineers for the nation? 
Are you being inner engineers for the nation where you do re-engineering for the nation? And this is what has happened. Demonetization has been re-engineering engineering to put all assets on the table so that we know what we have and then we plan to invest and not hidden wealth. And when you have hidden wealth, you keep spending on things you may not want because there's loose money. It's loose. Now when you have to go digital and you have to swipe your card and money is going from your bank, you will think twice, where do you need it? You will think twice, do I need it? When you have cash, extra, it's lying around, you want to buy this, you want to buy that, you want to have everything. Now when you swipe it, then you say, do I need it? Then you will take. And all that earned money is in the bank. And that money is in circulation. Why did this happen, friends? Is because as over the years since independence, we were not responsible citizens. So, while the college is giving you a skill degree to earn, it's your duty to see that earning is in the right way and invested in the correct way and you become responsible citizens to keep your accounts and pay taxes. So we, that's why we started with the ATM queue. It was, that's why we are all outside the ATM today. Because of the demonetization. So it's now a new India for you. You understand that? It's a new India. Past is gone. You are, for the, you are in your earning. You will now work through the bank. Through digital India. Through less cash India. Not cashless India. Less cash India. Which is everything transparent. And if anybody demands anything for you from extra, you will have to put your foot down to say, I'm not trained for this. So I'm looking at you as a new India, as a young India, a modern India, a technology-driven India, a responsible India, a, a new youthful citizenship with social conscience. I'm glad that you are involved into a lot of social activities. But do you know the kind of youth Pondicherry has? The number of colleges, engineering, universities, Pondicherry has. And the literacy level Pondicherry has. If each one of you adopts a village, there are 30% only villages in Pondicherry. You just have to adopt as groups one village each. You can clean it up. Within months, you can clean it up. It can become an open defecation free union territory. The first union territory in India it can be. If you decide to do it. You already have thousands of students, 14,000, 12,000? 12, 12,000 12, students you have. You are 12,000 students. Even if a group of 5, 6, 10 of you go back to your own village and start working on, on Swachta or a, or, a digit, or a cashless society, you can train people. That's what our Prime Minister said. Each youth, go train 10. Go educate them. This is being good citizens. This is the time to learn it. This is the time to do it. And what will benefit? You will ask, oh, to what benefit? That's your own country. Why should country be telling you what you should do? Because it's already doing for you. Whatever it can. You want it to do more? Contribute to it more. Take self-responsibility for your own people, your own village, your own village children, your own village school, your own village skill development center, your own village library. Your own village awareness, you can do that. Pondicherry is blessed with remarkable youth. And it's such a, it's a, such a wonderfully small union territory. Four different regions, disconnected. One Malayali, one Andhraite, one Tamilian, and one another, a lot of French in it. It's a very interesting union territory, but a very healthy. And it's, it's spiritually very strong. So you can do, you can be the change makers. When I accepted your invitation to be here, I looked at the future of my country. That here is, but if I get an opportunity, I will charge you with this responsibility. I'm charging you with responsibility to make, take India to the next level of less cash society, educated society, swatch society, technology driven society, moral society, Sit, uh, sit, uh, responsible citizenship society and involved society 
serving society while you are learning a skill from this colleges you will play responsible role as responsible citizens and you can do it we are losing time if every college of our every institution like educational institution of pondicherry we are losing time every pondicherry university principal director chairman every college medical non medical doesn't matter university if they if they charged with that the youth is charged to clean up pondicherry you can we can do it in 3 months time it can be guinness book we can do it provided every college leadership takes charge and the principals and the teachers take us take the leadership and become groups you can do it and why am i talking about cleanliness cleanliness is next to godliness you cannot work in a dirty environment you cannot be honest in filth honesty and cleanliness goes together positive inspiration positive vibes good health goes along with it it's a totality of health health is just not physical it's mental and spiritual and it cannot be in a dirty filthy environment or a corrupt environment so this plenty i can share with you all i can tell you is i charge you you youth you've learned your engineering degrees today you earned them you worked hard for it your professors and your institution gave you all they could they've trained you you so many of you are already placed and you're working you're earning but remember you are in a new india and you are the ones who have to continue the change and continue to evolve and to take it forward to the next levels be the real karma yogis be the real karma yogis of this time a karma which has a higher purpose not a low purpose not a karma which says oh what is in it for me karma which has a higher purpose and what's the higher purpose while i live my life with responsibility i make sure my india gets stronger my country becomes better so that i can leave i may have inherited whatever but i can build a better india build a better you and that will not happen till you build a better you building a better india will happen when you build a better you and building a better you has to be your own responsibility not your parents not your teachers anymore you are all wonderful adults you know the difference between the right and the wrong always every day when you get up in the morning choose to say i'm going to go right i'm going to do only what is right all that is my responsibility i will take responsibility for this day i'll not complain i'll not waste time i will invest time i'll work hard and create something different in you which is good for a higher purpose mine for my family for my community for my nation for my state and for every for the community as a whole this has been my life i'm talking to you out of experience i've lived one day at a time one day at a time even as left and governor of the day i'm working one day at a time i every day get up in the morning see what best can i do for pondicherry and i only do that whatever best that should be done for pondicherry i do that i am not here to please all i am not here for popularity contest i am here for hard work i am here for the future of pondicherry i am here for the betterment of pondicherry i am here for the development of pondicherry i am here for the prosperity of pondicherry so every day when i get up i think i do my yoga i do my meditation while you are meditating and you are doing yoga positive thinking comes energy comes when you do yoga in the morning and when you do meditation positive energy comes and positive energy means positive thoughts good ideas come to me what can i do for you? for and my responsibility is pondicherry today nothing else and in pondicherry it's 12 lakh people you are 12 and a half lakh people 12 lakh people is my responsibility and therefore i will never have a holiday till i am lg pondicherry i will continue to work every day without a holiday because 12 lakh is my responsibility 
whether I deserve it or not, I do not know. I got this responsibility, I will fulfill it. But how does it done? By one day at a time. In the morning, do the right way, get up early, think right, do your meetings, contribute the correct thing, contribute a new idea, follow up everything, open up, which is good for people, good for people, without worrying about tomorrow. Without saying, oh, will I stay on as LG or not? No, no, no. That's not my worry. My worry is, do I do justice to my responsibility today? When tomorrow comes, I do it today again, one day at a time. What happens tomorrow? N nature knows. But it's my duty only to do right. Maximum. It's called the maximum effort, not the minimum. Maximum. It's maximum effort, one day at a time. But before I became a lieutenant governor, this is the way I did my policing. This is the way I did my duty, even as a police officer. There was no holiday in my responsibility, never. But did I do it by effort? No, it was a habit. It was a character habit. It was a trained habit. I grew up as a tennis player when I was at the age of nine, 16. I was a national junior tennis champion. At the age of 20, I was an Asian tennis champion. And prior to, the, to be a national tennis champion and to be an Asian tennis champion, you have to work and then be a student. When I went to do my master's, I topped the university in my master's in political science. So studies and play meant not a minute wasted. It meant highest form of discipline. It meant not a moment wasted and wasted in gossip, but lots of friends. It meant simplicity. It meant personal discipline. And that was a habit. It just went on and on and on. Even if you want to change it, it won't change because that's your habit. So that's what I'm trying to say. I was not lecturing you. I was sharing with you that this is what works. So if you want to follow good people, people you admire, people you respect, people who you want to role model after are these are this the pattern of life this is the pattern which makes you succeed this is the ingredients of that success which gives you happiness in the end you may be happiness is about doing the right thing not achieving something the wrong way but doing it the right way that's happiness when you achieve something the right way it gives you genuine happiness if you achieve something the wrong way, it does not materially will be successful. But internally you know you didn't deserve it. It will tell you. So friends, this is my message for you. I'm very happy to be here, to be in such a wonderful institution. An institution which is making the change in Pondicherry. A well-run institution, educating youth, bringing them up for wealth creation, youthful, enthusiastic, character building is an asset. I hope and pray that this institution continues to contribute to the wealth and the future of Puducherry. And Puducherry is a contributor to the entire region. You are spreading out all over the world. Whether in the southern region or the northern, you go all over the world. You are the ambassadors of Puducherry. May you remain very, very worthy ambassadors of Puducherry and may you be a great success and joyful all your life. Thank you very much, and Jai Hind. Thank you very, very much, ma'am, for your wonderful and motivational speech.